Okay, guys, today we are going to talk about the subsidies, okay, just the opposite of the prudent test. Okay, what does this mean that of the subsidy actually yeah. is the opposite of the test? Mom. It's not collected by the government. Mom. It's an amount that provide yeah. to the to the producers, okay? Producer will receive this amount when they sell in each unit of the goods. And actually the purpose is very obvious, okay? The government want the market to, um, want the people can afford um, to buy the goods, okay? But um, the, we, we want to analyze more about uh, how it affects the market price, the quantity, and also the share of the subsidies, okay? Uh, because we, as we know, if the government give out one dollar, actually not um, the consumer enjoy the one dollar the whole hundred percent of that one dollar maybe he only enjoy the fifty percent so what make it to what is the fattest or fattest uh, share okay so we are going to study about that so we understand the producer and the consumer will enjoy the benefit from the government at this moment okay started with the um, immediate effect on the of the subsidy oh it's not test but subsidy okay because the subsidy is collected by the producer first so Actually, producers, the supply belongs to the produ producer. So how did the fact? We may, uh, imagine if you are the producer, you receive some money, who uh, and encourage you to sell more. So you will sell more in order to get the subsidies, right? So supply will increase. Therefore, in this case, you are the University of Hong Kong. If uh, the government encourage the university, okay, please um, uh, 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 provide more programs to. Uh, let more students can enjoy the program. So I will give you subsidy. Every student, I will give you extra one dollar. So the University of Hong Kong will try to provide more uh, vacancy for the for the study programs, and in order to uh, to get the one hundred. Oh, sorry, one dollar. So then we try to increase the supply. S one to S two. Okay, we have a new equilibrium. Okay, so the main task is uh. The supply is simple, but uh, how it affects the price and quantity? Okay, also simple actually from the equilibrium. You can find easy find, find this. But the most difficult part is about the total revenue. Okay, why is difficult? Because we understand that the total revenue is equal to the price times the quantity. Okay, and uh, in this case, because of supply change, we know that the price and the quantity they go to different direction. Maybe price up, quantity down, or price down, quantity up. So the effects on the total revenue will be unknown. So uh, we understand that according to the previous chapter, we understand total revenue unknown. So we have to think about the electricity of demand. It's, okay, in this case, there is subsidy. So um, we have to, we have a electricity of demand. We try to put it on the top, uh, on the uh, upper side of the demand curve. So in this case, it's the elastic demand. Okay, the demand is elastic, and uh, according to subsidy, supply will increase. So I on the on this case, I will try to put a second supply curve, shift to the right. Then I will find a new equilibrium. Okay, here P one, not this one P one. Okay, so uh, this is P two, the price decrease. Quantity increase so very simple, but then what happened to the uh, total revenue? Because this is uh, the price is decreased, so this part is minus, and uh, because this is increased, so the price is oh sorry, this part is uh, the plus. Okay, we can see that the plus area, the plus area, is more than the minus area. Okay, so total revenue increase. However, if we put the equilibrium point to, uh, at the lower part of the demand curve, we understand that the elasticity of demand will be smaller than one. Okay, so inelastic. I mean, so we also put a increase of the supply because the subsidy. So we have a new equilibrium point that is P two, and uh, we have a Q two here, Q one here, then price drop, quantity up. Okay, and uh, the price drop so minus, so the quantity up so is a plus, and uh, we can find that the increase in total revenue is smaller than the decrease in total revenue. So in this case, total revenue drop. Okay, in elastic demand, total revenue drop. Okay, first move. 
But for the most difficult participants, it's about the share of their subsidy. Um, if you, you still remember when we talking about the per unit test, the share of the test burden, we have to compare the electricity of demand and supply. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's just start with a. The case one, the case one is the electricity of demand is bigger than the electricity of supply. So we just try to use a normal demand curve before the supply curve, uh, because it's smaller ES. So we try to make it deeper to vertical. So we just draw two, draw two supply curve, and uh, deeper to vertical. Okay, so it's an increase of the supply. Okay, so we have a. We have a P1 here, Q1 here, we have a P2 here, and Q2 here. Okay, we find the price drop, we find the quantity up, okay, this looks just normal. But the difficult part, or, or the more step, is uh, we try to, in the new quantity, new quantity, we try to find the vertical distance between the supply curve, okay. So we find that the supply curve is not, is not long enough. Okay, so I try to extend it. This is S1. So, that's just a vertical distance between the S1 and S2. And uh, I can find it, the new point, and uh, I find P3. Okay, so what the, what the things here? We try to extend the line here. Okay, what are the things? Between P2 and P3. This area is the subsidy amount. Okay, just like the test amount, the total amount that the government paid to the uh, sellers. Okay, so, but uh, in this amount, the sellers will keep part of this and uh, part of that they will give it to the uh, consumer. So, where are, the, where are the parts of the consumer? The share of the consumer is the difference between the price change okay the consumer can enjoy the the subsidy by they can pay less so how much they can pay less is between p1 and p2 okay so this error we call that the consumer share of subsidy okay f that means for the rest of the after a subsidy amount that would be belongs to the supplier okay this is the producer share of subsidy okay so we are in the second scenario so we found that if we suppose that the electricity of supply is bigger so we try to use a normal demand curve and then we have a uh, uh, larger electricity of supply so we try to draw a flatter okay flat to horizontal supply curve so uh supply curves a bit something like this but flat so if this is s1 then because this is increase in supply so this is s2 okay so it go downward then we try to find the uh, equilibrium point here the second it could have been here. So something like this. And this. Okay. So P1, Q1, P2, Q2. Downward. Okay, so P P drop, Q up, okay. So the second thing is just try to find out there in the new quantity new quantity should be q2 right so and a uh, vertical distance between between s1 and s2 should be here then we find a new point on the s1 then we try to connect it to the y-axis to the price okay so this is p3 okay so and then we extend the p1 Something like this, okay? So, the subsidy amount this time is here. Subsidy amount. Okay, actually in the exam, you no need to uh, draw the subsidy amount. You just need to identify the consumer share. Should be here. 
the distance between the the price, or the area between the price. So, this is consumer share, consumer share of chapter D, and then the other part is here. The tester producer share producer share of subsidy. So this time we find that the consumer has a larger share than the producer. So you will find that、um, the people who has less electricity, so they will get a bigger. Share or burden.